As we know, the space station is um, it's a closed environment. It's been up there for 16 years now. So there's lots of, there's bacteria, there are fungi, microbes. ENOS is a device we have, we've built that can go around and detect in different areas um, microbial content. It's interesting from a scientific standpoint. We can look at the flora and the fauna of the, the space station and see how it's changing, how things are becoming more virulent or, or evolving. And on the other side, it's just interesting from a public health standpoint to understand what the environment is. But the cool thing with this as well is it's also done with support from companies on ground who use this technology in hospitals or other settings on ground. So we're also, this project has many iterations. It started with a basic model and it's constantly expanding to address different types of samples. Basically, it's a long tube with, it's got a, a sensor set, it's an electronic box, and there's a few different nozzles. So one is very easy to attach to a flat surface, like the front of a rack, it looks like a huge suction cup. Um, and then another attachment to reach behind the racks is a long nozzle, also with a little nozzle on the very end. I think now what's interesting going to talk to commercial users is that people are excited that they can now use it and access it because for so long it was not something that was accessible to everybody and I think that's really changing now and that's really exciting and I think that will be a huge impetus for even new developments that we never saw coming. Subscribe for more space.